kề lại nhá trước cho nhìn kề một xíu hands to knees eyes closed back straight up empty mind out Okay, open your eyes, take a deep breath. Okay, ready? Up! Three up! Chuck in! Okay, so from here, warm ups. I'm gonna run in a circle, you guys run in place. Okay, ready? Go! Okay, reverse. So same thing, keep running in place. And bring your knees up high if you want, mix it in between. Okay, sideways, so you go one, touch, 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 okay? Okay, reverse. Okay, come back, check it off. Okay, so from here, open your legs out, shoulder width apart, touch the mat. Okay, 10 times, second set, come down, wrap around your legs, uh, your ankles, your Achilles, or if you can go deep enough to your heels. Okay, ready? Touch the floor first, and hana, do, se, ne, tasu, yasu, iu, yaru, ahu, yo. Okay, now grab your ankles, ready? Pull it in deep, hold for a second, go. Hana. Do. Sit. Ne. Tasu. Yasu. Ego. Yaru. Aho. Yo. Hey, shake it off. Okay. Same thing. Shoulder width apart.
Okay, you're gonna do seated squats. So like uh, you're sitting straight down into a chair. Okay, so keep your hands out in front. Sit straight back, keep your back straight. Okay, ready? Ah. Do. Set. Net. Kasi. Yasu. Ego. Yaru. Aho. Yo. Hana. Do. Se. Ne. Kasu. Yasu. Ego. Yaru. Aho. Yo. Hey, shake it off. Okay. Make sure when you're doing those types of squats that your feet are about shoulder width apart. Okay, don't go wide. Uh, it works different types, different muscles in your legs. Okay. Focus is more on uh, the glutes and the outsides of the legs. Okay. <clears throat> also balance. Okay. All right. So from here, now open it out a little bit farther than shoulder width, about double. Point your toes out. Now double isn't this. You're gonna hurt your outside of your hips, okay? If you squat that low and do that, you're gonna strain. Double, shoulder width, I'm standing up straight. One step, two step, turn my heels in. Now I have double, okay? Ready? Sink low. Hana. Do. Se. Ne. Tasu. Yasu. Igu. Yaru. Aho. Yu. Hana. Du. Se. Ne. Tasu. Yasu. Igu. Yaru. Aho. Yu. Okay, now we go to regular squat. Okay. Now, from here, sitting position, your legs are a little close. Now you go just a little bit. Double shoulder width. Point your feet straight. Squat straight back. Okay, ready? Same. Go. Hana. Do. Set. Neck. Tasu. Yasu. Igu. Yaru. Aho. Yu. Hana. Du. Se. Ne. Tasu. Yasu. Igu. Yaru. Aho. Yu. Okay, shake it off. <coughs> okay, now from here, Gonna work on your balance a little bit. Bring your right leg up, even with your hip. Okay, so from here, keep that leg straight, focus on your balance, okay, and hold. <clears throat> okay, now shake that foot. Side to side, then front to back, circle rotate, hook behind your left leg, and sit. up, come up, set it down. Switch legs, left leg up, hold your balance, knee even with hip. Okay, if you need to put your hands up, you can. Okay, focus on knee straight. Not down here, not up too high, even. Keep your balance, okay? Side to side. 
front to back, circle rotate, and hook behind the leg, sit, keep your back straight, Bring it up, set it down. Okay, important part is focusing on balance. Okay, your balance is everything. Starts with your core, works its two legs. Okay, obviously, it starts with your feet and how well you're grounded to the ground. But being able to hold yourself up is how, how one you are with your core, with your stomach. Okay, because if I, if I just rely on my leg, okay, I have to focus. But once I know that my body is stable, it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter, okay? So work on core balance, okay? All right, walk out, push up 10 times. If you don't have the room, okay, go into a push up position, walk yourself back, okay? So let's say you, you move a little too much forward. So as you move forward, your feet kind of walk up, you keep feeling yourself go further and further forward. Put something in back of you so that you know you're touching whatever that is. A couch or a wall or whatever. Okay? Ready? Go. Walk straight, leg straight, hana. Do. Se. Ne. Get up straight. Tasu. Yasu. Ego. Yaru. Aho. Yo. Okay, shake it off. Okay. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do the same thing. Uh, walk out, push up, come back. When you come up, we're going to extend, tighten, hit, go back down. Okay. Don't hit your chest. Different sound. Okay. Different sound. Okay. Ready? One time hit, and one. Push up, come back, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so what I want you to make sure you do is keeping your stomach tight the whole time. Okay, go down to push up position. So, from here, what I want is regular push up. Okay, nice and easy, 10 times. Gonna do different types of sets. Okay, first one's regular. Ready? Back up a little bit so you can see. And go. Hana, do, se, ne, tasu, yasu, ego, yado, aho, and yo. Okay, make sure your hand doesn't come up off the mat. Don't roll your wrist as you do push-ups, okay? Not only are you straining your wrist, but as you rotate, you're not working your chest and back, okay? So make sure as you go down, 
you almost like suction cup to the ground. Okay. Okay, next set. Knuckles if you can. Straight, wide, ten times. Ready? Go. Hana. Dual. Set. Neck. Tus. Yes. Eagle. Yaru. Ajo. And you. Okay. Look for those imprints if you can. Make sure you're on the first two knuckles. Okay. Okay, next set. This one you can choose between uh, open hand or closed hand. Military. Uh, keep your knuckles tight. Okay, ready? If you do knuckle. And go. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Tas. Yes. Eel. Yaru. Aho. And you. Okay, shake it off. Okay, down to ab. So from here, lift your legs straight up, reach up, touch your toes. This you should be able to see no matter what. Okay, toes straight up. Ready? Go. Ohana. Do. Set. Ne. Tas. Yas. Iru. Ya. Aho. Yu. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Tas. Yes, Igu, Yaru, Aho, and you. Make sure your knees don't go past your hip forward. Okay? They should be even with your hip. Your feet can go back a little bit, but you don't want your knees to come forward. Okay? Okay, from here, bend your knees, keep them up. Uh, regular crunch. So put your hands on your shoulders, hand on the chest. Hand to your head. Okay, ready? Go. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Tas. Yas. Igu. Yaru. Aho. Yu. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Tas. Yas. Igu. Yaru. Aho. And you. Okay, opposite hand, opposite leg. So, by that I mean literally. So as we come up, it's starfish without the lift. As we come up here, reach to touch the toe, okay? Reach to touch the toe, come back down. Like I'm punching the touch. Okay, ready? And put your hands on your head, don't go high. Don't reach back. Okay, that's using momentum. Ready, go. Hana. Do say ne tas yas ego yar aho you again hana do say ne Tas, yas, ego, yar, aho, yo. Okay? So from here, the next set, I want you to bridge your hip, reach and touch to the opposite side. So when I bridge up, when I bridge up, I want to reach across to my opposite shoulder, okay, here to here, not on my head and my neck, on my shoulder, okay, ready, go, hana, do, set, ne, tas, yas, ego, Yar, Aho, Yu, Hana, Du, Se, Ne, Tas, Yas, Igu, Yar, Aho, 
Then you okay. Next set, last set. Okay. <clears throat> it's going to be the come up and twist. I think they call uh, Buzum say. Uh, it's a version of rush. I think it's V twist or something like that. Russian V twist. I don't know. Come up, twist the opposite elbow. Okay. You don't bring the elbow all the way up. You just bring it up and up to crunch and turn. Touch the mat to the opposite side. Okay, ready? <clears throat> and kind of do, sit, knit, toss, yes, eagle, yell, ow, you, kind of do, Sit, yes, yeah, you, hey, come back. Okay, stretch your air abs out like someone's pulling you. Both sides, feet and hands, and release. Okay, stand up. Okay, get your drink. Come back, we stretch. Okay, I'm gonna talk during the stretch, so pay attention. Well, it's up to you if you pay attention, that's your problem. Okay, stretch your legs out as far as you can. And sit all the way back. Okay, stretch to the left. Stretch to the right. Come up, twist to the left. No hands. Bring your head down. Twist to the right. No hands. Bring your head down. Come back up, stretch it again. Come up. Okay, release. Make butterfly. Okay, so with the governor saying till May 31st, uh, it's not dependent on me. Okay, it's not, it's not up to me what we do, okay? But you have to remember that the biggest thing is, is that places like this, a school that gathers a lot of people, will be scrutinized and uh, picked out and picked apart, okay? So pull in, push down with your elbows. If, if we decided to open up, and even the ones who you know, knew they weren't sick and knew that they weren't going to get it because they don't go anywhere or they can't go anywhere right now and all that stuff. If there was a mass of people here, even if it's like 10, okay, okay, release. Anybody can look at that, okay, anybody can look at that and we can be scrutinized for it in, in one way or the other. Okay, so shake it off. Right leg forward, left leg in. So while of course, what we would wanna do is open back up and have a bunch of people here. And I even know that some um, hair salons are opening up on May 1st, some in Kennebunk. 
Okay? I don't know if they all are. I don't, I don't care enough. Okay? Um, we aren't them. Okay? This is not a business place. Go down to your right leg. Okay? Switch to your left. This isn't a money, you know, we don't make money here. This, the money that is here goes right to the person who owns the place, and that's it. So, there isn't a full need to be scrutinized to open up. Um, I'm trying to make, you know, an excuse for what it is, but in reality, you know, it's... Not everybody will show up because I can't, I can't teach a class and do classes and do live videos for the ones that are home and do all that stuff. Boozabum can't do that either. That doesn't make sense. To be able to keep focus on the school and just have a live video play and stuff like that, you know, you, you see how many times it's cut out on Boozabum and uh, on my, even on my phone it's cut out before, okay? Now, bring your right leg forward and bring your left leg back, okay, and lean back, okay. So maybe, you know, maybe, who knows what will happen in two or three weeks from now, two weeks from now, one week from now, we don't know. I mean, in reality, we can, I mean, JKA isn't open. We can't go to JKA. We can't, we can't go all the way to Lewiston, especially since they're hit the hardest. Okay? We can't go there. We can't do that. We're not following what they're doing, but everything, every other martial arts school from all over okay, isn't open. And I'm not saying that we should follow what they're doing. Okay, Switch legs, left leg forward, right leg back. But the simple fact of the matter is, is that if we did, you know, we're kind of just being like, we don't take it seriously, you know? That, that's, that's the main point, is that it would, it would show that our school doesn't take what's going on seriously. And that uh, we represent the, any, any factor that's like, ah, you know, it's just, it's just something, you know, it's not a big deal. Those people that died, not a big deal, okay? so. I'm not, we're not doing that, okay? We're not, we're not gonna do that. Um, whatever Boozabum decides, that's on him, okay? I don't, I don't own the school. Okay, grab your toes, push your foot forward. I don't own the school. But what I do know is that um, maybe, maybe, you know, the time limit for from here to whenever might be too long, especially for some. It is for me, I th it's, it's a long time. But it's, it's probably not in the best interest to open the school all the way up right, like right on May or you know, May whatever. It's, it's not the best idea. So let's just keep doing what we're doing for now. I know it sucks. Okay? I, I'm well aware that it sucks. Okay? And stretch your legs out. But when you're put into a bad situation, trust me, I know plenty, you have to make the best of what it is. If you don't, you're gonna wallow in the misery that it is. You're going to sit there and you're only gonna think about the negative side. You're only gonna think about, oh man, this can't get any worse. Oh no, you know, why is this happening to me and stuff like that. That's, as a pointless thought process. You really have to think about what we have right now. You guys have constant video access to us. You're able to get a hold of us whenever you need us. The only thing you don't have, and I want this to sink in, the only thing you don't have right now, and I know it sucks, is to be in the school. Okay, that's, that's it. When it comes to our school, the only thing you guys don't have is the school itself right now. So please take what I'm saying and uh, just think about think about it, okay? Because it's not on me. What if Boozabum decides to open? I'll be here. 
Okay, because I care about you guys. I mean, that's not the point. But it sucks, and it is what it is, but make the best of what we have, because it's all we have right now. Okay? Try to follow me. I know I'm talking, I'm not saying what to do, but just try to follow me. Okay, switch legs. Rotate ankle. Pull the knee in. And release, shake it off. Okay, the only reason why I bring it up is because I'm sure uh, there's curiosity to what, what we want to do, what we can do, and uh, you know, not much we can do. Okay, shake it off. Okay, so what I want to go over today is not Taige itself, um, but some of the actions in Taige that I want to make into uh, movements. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like the basics you guys have gone over, but it's points in Taige. So, uh, Megan, uh, Merrick, Colton, Devin, Avery, uh, let's see, Taige, that's it. Everybody can do this, because I'm not going to go over the actual pattern. We're just going to go over techniques within the pattern. Uh, and we're going to try and make it more crisp. Because I, this is a good place to be, to where uh, I'm doing something, right? And then it becomes easier when you do it in the pattern. So like if we took a whole class working on the stamping leg from here, and then I come up here, you're going to get better at that stamping leg, right? Pa, back, pa, back. And that's, that's the gist of what this is. So I'm going to take pieces out of the pattern, and then you got, we're going to practice it together. Okay, first we're gonna start with that stamping leg, but with both legs. So when I count, we're gonna start with left hand forward, right hand to the hip. Okay, we're not going yet. Here, we're going to rise on our toes and come down to the punch. Okay, this is only working on the dropping of the heel. Okay, other than that, we work on side wave with the, the legs. Okay. So from here, left hand forward, we'll start jump, jump in, jump come back all the way. Okay, so from here, if you open up wide, shorten it to shoulder width apart, left hand forward, right hand to the hip, come up and crash. Come up and crash. Now, usually people will go like this, one and two. One and two, one and two, okay? Uh, that's the more correct way to do it. So, from here, if you guys wanna go bum, 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 that's fine, okay? But uh, I go full set, okay? Because I wanna work on getting my hand out before my heels touch the ground, okay? If my hand's already halfway out, it's not very hard for me to come out. Okay. okay, left hand forward, right hand to the hip. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I got a phone call in the middle of this. It's nonsense. Okay. Go again. Oh, it was a robo call too. All right, we're gonna do another set. Okay, oh, that made me so bad. Okay, from here, come up and crash. Come up and crash, okay? So don't forget hip rotation on the way down. Because you don't have full hip rotation and you're not focusing on this, because my heel and my feet aren't connected all the way. So it's much harder to do. So you have to rely on this as you're coming to come down on. Okay, ready? Make sure you're not turning out when you punch. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
each set on 10. Doesn't matter if we do 10 sets of 10, two sets of 10, one set of 10, key up on 10, okay? Okay, that's basic on here, okay? Now, from our motion, remember everybody can do this. No one is, no one is kicked out of this because you're getting ready, you're just learning new motion, okay? That's all. So here, from Chumbi, what I want you to do is we're just going to start on our uh, side block, okay? So uh, I'll go from Chumbi position. I'm going to step forward to show you, okay? So when I'm here, regular side block forward, hand crosses, stepping forward in L stance. L stance. Okay, that's our first move. So from Chumbi, we're going to do a set of 10, stepping forward, side block, L stance. Very simple, okay? Easy set of 10, that's what we're going to do. Okay, right, left hand. Ready? And one. I'm back. Right hand now. Two. I'm back. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back. Now, additive to the motion, okay? When I step side block, L stance, one, two, okay? One, two. My hand is outward hitting in to the groin to reach towards the groin. So instead of going like this, straight, I'm coming at a slight angle. One, two. Okay? Now the way that I, I see this as is not only to the groin. The leg. I'm reaching for the inside of the leg to pull up. Okay? So, uh, it's in a few other forms to where you go one, two, and you move up. Okay? So, it's not necessarily grab to the groin, move up. It can be, okay? That's uh, the very first thought that when I was doing it, was pulling the groin, okay? Uh, but there's other ways that you can utilize that technique, okay? So here's what it looks like. One, outward side block, L stance. One, okay? Two, from here to here. One, two. And two. Opposite hand is to my head. In reality, I'm covering. Covering. Okay? So here, one. Okay? So one, two. And come back. Okay? Everyone can do this together. One. So forward is one. Two. Okay? Opposite hand to the head. One, two. Don't bend your wrist. Don't tighten your finger. Your thumb should be inside. Inside. Just like knife hand. Okay? Ready? So when we step, uh, so it is both sides in Taige. So we're going to make sure that we practice both sides, okay? Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit, one minute. Try to practice both sides, that way we can go one and two. We'll do it together, okay? 
So ready? One command, one move at a time. Okay, ready? Left side first. One, two. Okay, I'm back. Opposite side. One, two. Okay, I'm back. Okay, opposite side. Ready? One, two. Opposite side. Ready? One, two. Opposite side. One, two. Opposite side. One, two. Opposite side. Okay, ready? All the way through. One command, two moves. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five. one of the more important pieces to tie gay. Okay? The next part, remember we're gonna go over tie gay with booze bumps here, the actual form itself. Okay, but I figure Wednesday is our pattern day, so let's go over some movements from it. Okay? Alright. Next one. Excuse me. This one is uh controversial in ITF pattern. W block or mountain block, okay? A W shape block here, okay? When uh, you do this pattern, you do it, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six times, I think. I'd have to go through it, okay? In one motion, it looks like, when you're stepping forward, it looks like this, here, 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 okay. Um, you're supposed to bring your leg out and throw body weight forward, okay. Now we're gonna practice this motion from here, chumbi, left foot, hand forward first. Pick your leg up and drop weight, okay, and come back. This is the shape, okay. So one and two. Use your leg like I'm stepping over something, over, and then I throw my body and my hip. So I'm here, I bring my leg up and throw my hip. Okay? So let's try it nice and slow. Okay, we'll do, we'll go uh, two times. Okay? So ready? One and two. Come back. Opposite side. Ready? One and two, come back. 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 Alright, let's try it. Ready? Hana! Do! Three! Four! Kasi! Yes! Iwo! Yaro! Aho! Yo! Come back. Okay. Um, so W shaped block is not tricky block, but it's uh, can definitely be represented in a bunch of different ways when left up to uh, Bunhe, hey, Hesel. Okay, so that's the most annoying, controversial part to Tai Gay. Okay, so next. Okay, next piece 
is knife hand. So knife hand block. One, two, and our next motion forward. So when I'm going, uh, no, no, we'll go, we'll take a step back before we get to that part. So it's forward and knee. Okay? So we're breaking over the, 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 the head over the knee. Okay? So from Chambi, I go one, we'll go this way, I go one, downward, two, three, to the knee. Okay? So one, one, two, three. Okay? So from here, ready? What I want to do when we move forward is one move at a time first. So when I step in, in a downward guarding block here, or inner or outer form guarding block, or I don't know what it's called in ITF, okay? Uh, here I just call it palm facing uh, double block. Okay, so here is the first set. One, in forward stance. Two, no transition. Three, over the knee, over the head, or the knee over the head. Okay, ready from Chumbi. Two moves, each count. Ready? One. Okay. Two. Reach. Come back. Again. Ready? One. Two. Again. I don't know the exact set, but I do know uh, mountain block. Okay, or W block. Okay, hands are here. Okay, the stance is about uh, sitting stance. So it's sitting stance when you land here. And uh, I don't know what you mean by, what did you say? Uh, straight forward. So they should be like this. If you mean like a sitting stance this way, no. They should be slightly outward like this. Okay, if that's what you meant. So 50-50 in this way. So I can answer that one if that's what you mean. Okay. All right. Back to the set. Okay. Forward. Grab. Knee. Forward. Grab. Knee. Okay. So from Chumbi, again, one command, one move. Ready? One. Two. We don't change guard on this one because we don't do it multiple times. We stay on the same side because in the pattern, that's, that's the way it is. You're landing this way, here, to, to the next set, okay? So, ready? Forward, hands. One, two, come back. One, two, ready? One, two, one, two, okay, let's go full set, ready, same side all the time, okay, you can practice opposite side on your own time, we're sticking to pattern, okay, ready, one, see I'm also following the tempo, not, because I'm not using it in reality, we're practicing for the pattern, okay, ready, two, set, you want to make sure you're pausing in between, okay? So, pausing in between, uh, so Buzabam went over it before, and he kind of made it a little bit long, he said a second and a half, uh, I think he meant to say half a second, okay? So, not a second and a half, okay, because that's one, 
go. Okay, no. So when you hit something, it goes one, land. Okay, that's the pause. Stick the landing, move on. Stick the landing, move on. Okay, some, uh, some people will say it should be long enough to take a picture. When you do that, you lose any sense of reality to what you're doing. Okay? A pattern is meant to be uh, the structure of self-defense. And when you make something pause for too long, it just looks like a fancy dance. Okay? So, well, yes, there should be fluidity to the movements, and there should be one, and two, and three. It shouldn't be, there should be a tempo, it shouldn't be one, two, three. That's, no, okay? <clears throat> All right, so next motion is uh, the end, the end of the pattern. So we're just going to move our body to the side. So it looks like this, you go in L, and you're moving this way. And this is the same block from one hill. Same block. Same thing. So I go one. We're not doing this part. But when I go one, we're doing this motion. So how do we do that? We go from chumbi position. You step in a forward facing stance to the opposite side. So from here and you go one. Okay? To me. And then two. Forward facing. Look at your forward facing. Right now mine's a little too short. I'm gonna do it again. As I step here, forward facing. Okay? When I move, same pattern as regular side block, just a, a swinging type of motion. Um, just like in one go here. Out. Come back. Okay? It's sideways on purpose, because when you're, you're used to doing it this way, you're used to coming in, forward straight, you step out, and you dip in and come down, and you bow, and then you bow, and you dip, and then you come down. You're used to that, but not sideways. You don't, your head doesn't change. So when you do this, you're still looking at the angle you're going to. So when you step out, you're at that angle. My hip isn't this way. It's this way. Counter rotation. Okay? So from here, step your left leg out into a walking stance. So here, one, two. Follow your hand. Your head follows your hand. Hand is at the hip. Don't have this lazy hand. Get to me. I grab something, I pull it in. If I pull something in halfway like this, it's weak. My hand is weak here. My hand is not weak back here because I have all my muscles working together to keep that in place. Try it. Grab something, put something right to your hip this way, and see if, see if somebody pulls it out of, your, out of your body. And then take that same thing and pull it in tight. And hold this tight. Hide your elbow. And then see if they can pull it away from you. See how long it takes in comparison. Okay? All right. Because this has everything to do with body mechanics, has nothing to do with strength. This has everything to do with being relaxed. Okay? But when you're doing a pulling hand, you have no reason to be fully relaxed because you're ripping something inside. You're grabbing and pulling. Guess what happens when you relax on a, on a pulling hand? Whatever you're pulling isn't pulled anymore. Okay, so step out left foot, walking stance, side, uh, side block, okay, um, I don't remember what it's called in Wong Hill, I'm sure one of you guys do, if you want to put it in, go ahead and put it in, uh, the, the block in Wong Hill where you're turning your body out and your body slightly away, same thing, different position, okay, ready, so one and two, two moves. Ready, one, one is stepping forward, two, 
turning. Okay, come back. One is stepping forward. Two is the motion. Okay, ready? Full set. Okay, I'm, I know you guys can do it now. You should have been practicing while I was talking. Ready? One. Two. Wave motion. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. points from Ty Gay. We can go over that next week. Okay. Uh, I would like to get back to patterns on Wednesdays, but Boozman has to be here in order to do it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. I'll be here for the rest of the week. So tomorrow I'll be here. Uh, and Friday I'll be here. Okay. All right. Cheer up. Chung it. Okay. Turn. Well, stay facing me. Okay. Moksa. Hand into your knees, eyes closed, back straight up, empty your mind out. Open your eyes, take a deep breath. Ready, up. Chirp. Chang'e. Hey, Isa. Hey, okay, everyone wish Boozabong feel better, okay? Um, he's working his butt off, plus uh, he hurt his heel, so let's hope for a fast recovery.